Okay, folks, and really, this is a review for me, and thanks to Kevin Blanche, this was, the subject was brought back up, and we need to do something about it, okay? Because in all fairness, 83-year-old sister Megan Rice looks like she's going to do some hard time in federal penitentiary and being convicted of, I say, quote-unquote, sabotage. Let me read you my pardon. I've got a petition to pardon her up on the whitehouse.gov, and I do appreciate the White House letting us have this particular uh, outlet here, this platform, to do petitions. And I don't know if anything will come of it, but let me just read to you what, how my petition is worded. And it's titled, Pardon 83-Year-Old Sister Megan Rice. If child molesters get electronic ankle bracelets, how can you jail a nun? Question mark. We the people are asking for a full pardon of Sister Megan Rice, who was convicted of quote-unquote sabotage and quote-unquote damage to government property when she trespassed onto the Y-12 uh, site in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. If justice is, to, justice is to be meted out with a fair hand, then how can Sister Megan Rice be sent to prison when child molesters are given electronic bracelets and allowed to live amongst us, avoiding prison altogether? In the case of the nuclear industry, all one has to do is read the NRC Freedom of Information Act documents pertaining to Fukushima to know there was a massive government-orchestrated cover-up of the radioactive plume and fallout that hit the West Coast and other U.S. states. Fatality Index studies show over 75,000-plus deaths and say there will be many more. No one held accountable there. Pardon Sister Rice. You know, so what I'm saying is, if in these other instances... There's going to be no accountability. And gosh, I could go on as to all the... Uh, I've got a lot more instances than just Plumegate. You know, in all good conscience, you can't put an 83-year-old nun... You know, she didn't hurt anyone. You cannot put her in a federal penitentiary. At 83, that's a death sentence. If you put her in there any time at all, that is literally a death... This is outrageous. You know, she's a... She's a nun. I mean, what can I say? I'm just going to end it there. I'm going to give you a link to this. And if you, you know, agree with me and think he should pardon her, at least give her an ankle bracelet, right? And let her go home, okay? Seriously. Seriously. If you can let the child molesters do that. And, you know, I say that because in Florida, the guy just, in Jacksonville, he just killed a girl. Yes, he was a child. I don't know if he had an electronic bracelet on him, but some of them have before that have raped and killed little girls here in Florida. This is an this is a multiple happening thing here in Florida. Three or four that I can remember in the last five to eight years right here in Florida. And yeah, they're able to track the guy down and get him. But hey, my point is if they're that dangerous, they need to be in jail. And Megan Rice isn't dang a danger to society, right? Come on. Hey, please sign the petition if you agree with me. Okay, thank you very much. We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.